There is genuine evil that is around us, and I'm not talking about the social media, oh, that guy's evil, oh, he doesn't agree with what I have to say, therefore he bad man, you know, possessed, and all oh, that tradcon finger wagging, but no, 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 genuinely evil people that when you ponder on it, when you ponder on their motives and realize that they walk amongst you, it should send a shiver up your spine, okay? And we got one perfect example right here where you got a sick moment where a woman smirks, yes, a woman, and giggles in court as she's charged with butchering a three-year-old boy outside of an Ohio supermarket. I don't get, I, I don't know, okay, how you can go ahead and characterize somebody else other than just purely evil based on that okay smiling and laughing showing zero remorse for butchering a little kid a little three-year-old boy for nothing other than him being a white boy i don't know how you come to that conclusion i this is just this is somebody that if they were removed from society permanently go ahead and draw whatever conclusions you want the world wouldn't be a better place I don't simply want to dismiss this as, you know, the tradcons that I made mention of a little bit earlier. Now they'll say, oh, is that demonic possession? No, no, no. This person knows exactly what she did. Revels in the fact that she killed and butchered a little white boy. This is an evil individual. Not motivated by anything other than the hatred that um, society, society would say is fostered against people that look more like her and less than little Julian would. This is a, the most, well, this is the sickening moment. I would say the most sickening moment. There are a few things, right? Like every once in a while, like you'll get a clip. This is the most shocking. This is the most horrific. This is the scariest moment in a horror film where yeah, you watch them and it's like, okay, cool. That's a little bit creepy. But when you see this absolute piece of human filth, laugh at tearing the charges against them, smile for the camera pose and gesticulate in order to drive the most attention possible for their heinous actions like that is something that's going to stick with you forever bianca ellis 32 displayed a disgusting behavior a week after she allegedly stabbed the child to death and was wounded and wounded his 38 year old mother margot wood outside a giant eagle in north olmstead outside cleveland authorities have said the attack was a random act of violence oh no but mental illnesses it's like nah man you don't attack a kid like that okay thinking that you know you need to put it down because you know the voices in your head tell you so and then act like that in court that's an evil person Ellis is facing 10 criminal counts, including two counts of murder and two counts of attempted murder. Judge indicated Monday that she could potentially face the death penalty if convicted. What's, what's with this potential? Okay. Well, appearing in court with her hands cuffed behind her back, Ellis appeared to fight back a smirk before she smiled several times while the charges were being read. Footage from W. E at EWS shows. Yeah, exactly. Like there's the video that's right here. And as you can see, do you think anything's being held back at that point in time? Yeah. Mm hmm. We're just posing mean mugging for the camera going back and forth. It's just this is the worst human being I've seen in a very, very long time. Ellis also whispered while answering questions in court and hung her head while she was uh, initially being arraigned over video conference. Ellis then giggled and replied, see, when a judge, Nancy Russo, asked her if she was going to plead not guilty to the charges against her. Wow, I could think of something that starts with a C that I would like to call this thing. News 5 Cleveland reported. Eventually, she said yes when the frustrated judge pressed her. Frustrated? That's a different type of word. Okay, speaking of the court, before Russo determined to bail, little bail, ba bail, are, you, are we talking bail? Uh, little Julian's father El uh, said Ellis took everything from us. Yeah, that's that's the best that you can muster, huh? Well, she took everything from us, and I really hope the justice prevails. There's nothing that could ever replace my son, Jared Wood said, according to video from WEWS, adding, Just do whatever you can to keep this monster behind bars. The judge ultimately set bail at $5 million, the maximum figure, with Ellis held in custody. So yeah, I don't really know, okay? Like, sometimes people say that, you know, you have a million dollar smile, but I don't really think that that's a half million dollar smile. I would say that that's probably worth a two piece and a shanking, but whatever. Ellis was arrested after Julian and Margot were stabbed shortly after 3 p.m. North Olmstead police said officers saw her holding a knife when she was taken into custody. Police said, according to WEWS, well, yeah, if she was also covered in blood, I don't really know why you need bail. I don't even know why you need a trial at this point. While Margot was opening the trunk of her car to put her groceries away, a woman viciously attacked and stabbed both Margot and Julia. 
or Julian, sorry, loved ones wrote on a GoFundMe page. Uh, they also said the victims and the suspect did not know each other. Julian was remembered as a sweet... I do, honestly, like, that... that oh, reading the words of loved ones over you know, the mourning of a three-year-old who was violently murdered... Yeah, um, that's not a way that you want to spend any of your day. Jesus, okay. Family is overwhelmed with sadness and overwhelmed with loving support that the community has already provided us. This will be an incredibly long journey to recovery, but truthfully, we will never recover. But we will continue to share stories about our beautiful baby boy. But yeah, do you want to say anything about the monster? Does, does anybody want to talk about this rampant, fuck it, I'll just say it, anti-white sentiment that's out there? Because yeah, there you have the kid. There you have little Julian. There you have his father. There you have his father in court. Don't know what Margot looks like, but I'd imagine because he's got red hair, she was probably prime target of somebody who literally couldn't care less about the life of anybody, let alone a white life that's out there. Like, let's just call it what it is, man. Every time, every single time you see shit like this, you get all the publicity. The media will just simply run with it when it's that Buffalo head case who live streamed going into a predominantly black neighborhood and shot up a grocery store. You'll have his motives discerned and discovered, published to the country within a matter of minutes. But when's that moment that we're going to be getting the manifesto of Audrey Hale, the trans school shooter that went into the Nashville Christian school that she used to went or go to and specifically targeted young Christian kids? When are we going to hear about that you're right racism okay talking about the left here racism is definitely a problem it's just not going in the direction that you think it is okay they'll just go ahead and they'll go ahead and point to chicks like this now who is this some blonde haired blue or blue eyed kind of cutie apologizing for something like let's just hear this here real quick okay so a recent video of mine seems to have um upset members of a certain community and it this um, all the backlash just really made me, you know, just really do a deep dive. Like, do Now, what video is she talking about? Well, we got the original one that's up here. And unfortunately, because YouTube is the big gay, I can't play it. But she gets, um, she gets Modern Warfare 2 a lobby spicy, okay? She drops a gamer word. At least it's got the A at the end of it. And she's talking about, okay, yeah, every, all the loser friends or all the loser people that she knows, you know, they're, they're shacking up with broke ass <laughs> basketball Americans. It's just a, it's just a TikTok that's out there. Okay. It's 14 seconds. It's kind of funny. You know, that she says way crazier stuff when the camera's not on. Okay. So this is her, you know, kind of, kind of walking it back. Spoilers. She doesn't walk it back. Do a soul search. And after all that, I still couldn't find a care. You're going to call us racist. You're going to call us potential Timothy McVeigh's. Fuck you. War. And I mean, like, come on, man. I don't know who this chick is, but uh, she's definitely trying to raise her online persona and definitely trying to stoke some stuff. But look at who ended up capturing this video. Okay, I have no idea who this is right now, but the internet has made non-black people way too comfortable. Really? The internet has made non-black people way too comfortable. She's dead ass serious. No, she's making a joke on TikTok. What is that? No, there's a number that's immediately coming to mind. It's not 90. It's not 90. It's 80. What is that? I can't quite remember. I don't know. My 142 is just getting in the way on that one. But we got to start knocking people out again. All right. Immediate leaps to violence. It's the meme playing out once again. A word. A word can trigger such a response. Meanwhile, what is it? What is it over here? Somebody having their son stabbed by a savage. Having their life forever changed. Having their wife almost taken from them. And the best that you can do is just babble in front of a court. Now, I'm not, this is not a call to violence. Don't get it twisted or anything like that. Absolutely not. This is simply a call for people to stand up, grab a spine. How about that? Stop being so goddamn complacent. Stop being so fucking soft. How about that too? Where, oh, you hear a word from somebody through a video screen, through your cell phone screen for Christ's sakes, and yeah, immediately lash out in violence, okay? They're words. Words don't hurt, but guess what? Knives? Knives and three-year-olds? Well, they definitely do. And this is where we're at. You won't even bring up race in a story like this. You won't even bring up motives. She's in jail. You clearly know the motives. You're not going to broadcast it to the public because that might end up upsetting the apple cart of division. No, just be honest.
so people know what we're up against out here. Shit's tragic. Three-year-old's dead. And this beast has the audacity to smile and smirk and make a laughing stock of an already pathetic justice system. This is where we're at, guys. This is 2024. Strap in. Oh, it's only gonna get worse because there's far too many pussies that are out there and not enough fucking soldiers out there because yeah if shit like this would ultimately happen running it back to the incident where this homunculus is on trial yeah there wouldn't even be a trial and if it was the main defense would be self-defense because the only smile that would be on that face is if rigor mortis set in fucking garbage person so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it and grow a fucking spine